Yo dudes, this is Logan at Riskless Review, where I test products so you don't have to. So today we're going to be looking at Boca Chicken Patties and Simple Truth Meatless Patties. Let's get to it. Alright, so today we're going to be doing two different patties. We're going to be doing some chicken patties and some meatless patties that are kind of like a burger. We're going to be doing them three ways this time. So we're going to do them on the grill, in the microwave, and in the air fryer. For the barbecue test, we're going to do one of the chicken patties sprayed with oil. It doesn't say to do that, but I just kind of want to see what it does. And patty on its own. So these look pretty good on the grill. The one that had the spray on it looks really nice and much more crispy than the other one. The other one looks kind of flat and not the best. Taste-wise, these are good. I really like the crispiness of the chicken off the grill. The patty is interesting. I wouldn't call it a burger. It's, it tastes just like a Salisbury steak. And a pretty good one at that, actually. Better than something you get out of a microwave meal kind of thing. So yeah, let's try these in the microwave next. So the chicken patties just kind of get uh, soppy and not really that great. I don't really like their texture. To be honest, I don't really like their taste this way either. Uh, it's funny, Boca Chicken Nuggets are some of my favorite. Uh, I've done a nugget shootout before I started filming. I'll probably do one for the videos again. But Boca Chicken Nuggets are some of my favorite. So the patties, I would assume, were just as good. But these patties are just not, not as good. I don't like the texture in the microwave, especially for these. The meatless patty in the microwave is nice. It gives kind of a weird saucy juice on the sides, as you can see. But overall, this is a fine way to cook it as well. Again, tastes just like a Salisbury steak. If I were eating this, I would want to mix this with mashed potatoes and peas or something like that. Really good Salisbury steak flavor. It probably is good on a burger too with like sauteed onions and, you know, blue cheese or something. Because the taste is kind of like a Salisbury steak, which is kind of like a sauteed onion taste. So if you like the sauteed onion taste, these, these are nice. So let's go to the air fryer now. Frying up the chicken still suffers from a lack of good texture um again i'm not sure what's up with these they taste like cheap fast food like the lowest quality fast food chicken patties you could get um not impressed if i cook them for twice as long as they even say they'll get a little bit crisper and then they'll be okay and not too bad kind of like they were on the grill with the oil on them but in general, I, I just am not impressed by these patties. I much prefer the Boca Chicken Nuggets. And they both have about the same nutritional facts. So there's no real difference between the two. It's just something about these patties. They just don't, they don't cook right. Less surface area, I guess. The meatless patties, I really like. Again, if you're looking for that Salisbury steak taste, that kind of sauteed onion flavor, these are really nice. Also, the meatless patties got way more protein, as we saw. Uh, the rest of the stats are pretty good. Again, sodiums are usually a little bit high on these kind of patties, but not too bad if you're only eating one a day. Both of these cost, again, about 4 to $5. So it's really about a dollar per unit. So not bad price-wise. I really like these. I think they're really good, uh, the meatless patties. The chicken patties, unless you really want it in that form, they're okay, but I would just... Stick with the Boca Chicken Nuggets if you want chicken that is vegan. So if you've had these, let me know in the comments below what you've thought. And leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Talk to you soon.